Okay, very quick one. Let's look at uh, simple linear regression. Linear regression model is given as we have um, y equals to beta naught plus beta 1 x plus error term. Now, if you want to define this now, we have this y so as dependent variable dependent variable so we have y as a variable and we also have x here as independent variable then we have this e here as the error term Or you call it white noise. Now we have two parameters here. We have beta naught and beta one. This beta naught, you can call it intercept. Intercept. And uh, we have this um, beta one as a slope we can call beta one and the slope now this slope has this formula to calculate it that is the beta one so we have a beta one equals to n summation x y minus summation x summation y all divided by n summation x square minus summation x all square so this is the formula to calculate the slope which is beta 1 in this formula and the intercept we can use this simple formula which is you have a beta naught equals to y bar that is the mean of y variable y minus beta 1 x bar so which means if you want to use this uh, short formula the value of beta 1 is needed for us to get the value of uh, beta naught so in simple linear regression so we have two variable one dependent and one independent so we have beta naught as the incentives and we have beta 1 so we'll be using this formula to calculate um to formulate um regression straight of uh, straight line so let's say we have an um, x variable and y variable so let's say x1 2 3 4 5 x has um five variables uh five values that is observation so Let's say why we have a two, five, six, nine, seven. Y also has a five observation. So we want to formulate this model by using this data to get the value of the intercept, which is the beta naught, and uh, the slope, which is the beta one. So at the end, we are going to use B is to also find the standard error of estimate standard error of estimate and this is giving us we have um, equals to square root of summation we have um, y estimate minus y O square then divided by n minus 2 this is the formula we're going to use to calculate the standard error of estimates all right let's go to the main work here so here now we have the value of x we have 1 2 3 4 5 and we have the value of y to be 
2, 5, 6, 9, and 7. Now, first of all, what is the formula for calculating the slope? We have a n summation xy minus summation x summation y divided by n summation x square minus summation x r square. So we need all of these n. What is n? The number of observation. So in this case, we have um, our number of observation is 5. Because each variable contains 5 observation. Now we need summation x. Summation x here. Eh? When you add up all these values together, that is going to give us 15. Comma. We also need a um, summation y. Add all these values together. 2 plus 5 plus 6 plus 9 plus 7. So summation y equals to 29. Then, from this formula we have xy. So we need to formulate xy here. xy. Now this will multiply this column by this column. Corresponding value of this row, uh, this column multiplied by corresponding value of this row. So we have um, 1 times 2 will give us 2. 2 times 5, we have 10. 3 times 6, 18. 4 times 9, uh, we have a 36. 5 times 7, we have a 35. So here now we have a summation xy. Summation x, y, if you add up all these values, 2 plus 10, plus uh, 18, plus 36, plus 35. This will give us 101. 101, comma. So from here now, we also need x squared. So we need x raised to the power of 2. That is, multiply our uh, square each value in this column. One square will give us one. Two square will give us four. Three square, that is nine. Four square, 16. Five square, 25. So we need a summation x square. If you add up all this value here, one plus four plus nine plus 16. Addition of all the value there is going to give us 55. So now, Let's come back to this better now, the slope of the regression, simple linear regression model. So now we have a better one to be equals to n. Our n is 5 from here. Multiply by summation xy. Summation xy is 101 minus summation x. Summation x is 15. Multiply by summation y. Summation y is 29. Then divided by n, which happens to be 5. Multiply by summation x squared. Summation x squared is 55. Bracket close. Minus. Open bracket. Summation x all square. That is a 15. Raised to power of 2. You can see how we get this value now. Now, beta 1 equals to 5 times 101 will give us 505 will give us 505 minus 15 times 29 15 times 29 is 435 then divided by 5 times 55 we have 275 minus 15 square, that is 225. So if you don't want to waste time, 505 minus 435 will give us 70 divided by 275 minus 225 will give us a 15. So if you divide 70 by 50, therefore, beta 1 equals to 1.4. So the slope of the model is 
four. All right, moving on. Now I want to get the intercept of the model. Don't forget, we said the intercept of the model is given as beta naught equals to y bar minus um, beta 1 x bar. So y bar, which is a summation x over summation y rather, summation y over n. And summation y from here is 29. So we have 29 divided by 5. Therefore, y bar equals to, or we divide 29 divided by 5. That should give us um, 5.8. Now, x bar equals to summation x over n. And summation x is a 15. So we have 15 divided by 5. 15 divided by 5 it was x bar to be equals to 3. And we should not forget then our beta 1 equals to 1.4. So moving forward, we are going to have a beta naught equals to y bar, which happens to be 5.8. So we still have 5.8 minus open bracket beta 1, which is 1.4. From the value of beta one, you got to then multiply by x bar. Our x bar is three. Okay, close. So we have a uh, beta naught equals to 5.8 minus 1.4 multiplied by three. If you do the calculation, that will give us 1.6. So the intercept of the simple linear regression model is 1.6. So if you want to formulate the model now, we have uh, y equals to beta naught plus beta 1 x plus error term. So we have uh, y equals to our beta naught, which is 1.6 plus beta 1, which happens to be 1.4. Then we have x plus error term. Now, from here now, we want to try to get the standard error of estimation. And for us to get the standard error of estimation, we have to utilize the value of this error term. So now, to get the error term, we have error term i equals to, um, we have uh, the estimate of y, i, minus um, y, I. So it means the estimate of y i. How do we get the estimate of y i? This is the estimate of y i here. So it means when you put each value of x, we have our x to be 1. So it means y estimate for the first value here is going to be 1.6 plus 1.4 multiplied by 1. 1.6 plus 1.4 multiplied by um two so that is how we can get that but then from let's move on by doing this so we have um y estimate we want to get y estimate so for the first one here one say so 1 plus 6, 1.6 plus 1.4 multiplied by 1. If you do that, 1.4 multiplied by 1, we give you 1, we we'll give you 1.4. 1.4 plus 1.6, that will give you 3. Now put these two to replace this x here. That is 1.6 plus 1.4 multiplied by 2. If you do the calculation, this will give you 4.4. Four. Now substitute three in place of x here. One point six plus one point four multiplied by three. This will give you five point eight. 
substitute 4 for xa we have um, 7.2 then substitute 5 for xa then we have um, 8.6 and don't forget to get the standard error of estimate standard error of estimate we have we are going to utilize this formula we have a summation into bracket y estimate minus y variable square divided by n minus 2 so it means we need y estimate minus y then we square it then let's formulate the last table here so we have a y estimate minus y so y estimate here what are we doing that is a y estimate we have 3 minus 2 3 minus 2 give us 1 then we are going to square the result 1 multiply by 1 that be 1 square will still give us 1 now 4.4 minus 5 that will give us 0 0.6 if we square 0 0.6 so we are going to have 0 0.36 do the same thing to the rest we have 0 0.04 3.24 then finally we have uh, 2.56 how do we get this 2.56 from here we have y estimate minus y this is y estimate here 8.6 8.6 minus 7 that is um 1.4 when you score 1.4 that should give you 2.56 so that is how we get this uh, table then if you add up all this value which is um uh, 1 plus 0 0.36 plus 0 0.04 plus 3.24 plus 2.56 therefore summation y estimate minus y square will give us 7.2 so now coming to the standard uh, standard error of estimate this is a formula for standard error of estimate so now let's substitute this value into this we are going to have a square root of instead of so y um, y estimate minus y or is about 2 the value is 7.2 so we have 7.2 divided by our n is 5 right from here so we have a 5 minus 2 then if you do this very well, we're going to have a 7.2 divided by 3. Therefore, the standard error of estimate will be equal to 1.5492 approximately. So now, right from here, we were able to find the beta naught which is a intercept of the model we're able to get the value for the slope which is beta one slope beta one and we're able to formulate the model which is right here this is the model for simple linear regression and this model help us to calculate the standard error of estimate as far as this data is concerned so this is how to find the parameters of simple linear regression